Hi there, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name's Gabriella. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, skincare, self-care, dating. I do vlogs. Uh, I'm currently on the first national tour of the Broadway show Six, so I make videos about being a touring actor and whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. Today, I've got an exciting video. It's a romantic sort of theme on my channel as of late, but I just, I'm really excited. In about two and a half hours, my best friend Kira is gonna arrive here in DC. I'm in my Airbnb right now. She's going to arrive to visit me for the next couple days. And so tonight, I'm gonna take her and my special person, to uh, that Afghan restaurant that I showed if you've watched my most recent vlog, it's called Lapis. It was amazing and I have to take both of them. There is a fly buzzing around. I'm so sick of this Airbnb, I swear. It looks nice, but it is so annoying. But anyway, um, I can't wait to go to this restaurant because Kira, my best friend, is vegan and they have a ton of options. And I think it's gonna be a really fun time because both of them are wonderful, so I'm sure they'll get along. Uh, but I wanna pick out an outfit for this dinner. And I've known that it's, like, it's been on the calendar for quite some time now. So I have partnered up with Wantable, and Wantable sent me a box of seven items. My stylist, actually, Kristen, sent me seven items in this box that are date night slash date in DC appropriate, and I thought I would style them and try to figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight. Wantable is a service that I've used for over a year now, and they're an amazing website where you and a stylist can put together a special box of clothes that maybe you need to fill gaps in your wardrobe, uh, maybe you want some new pajamas, maybe you need some new active wear. Uh, I've done both the active and the sleep edit, and now I'm doing the style edit because I need some clothes for date nights. So they have clothes at every price. You can try on everything at home, like I'm gonna do today with my box, and you have five days to decide if you wanna keep the items. If you keep all the items in your box, you get an additional 20% off of the entire total. It's just a really fun way to add some new pieces to your wardrobe, not have to do the shopping for yourself. I like to wait until I actually open my box to see what's in it, so it kind of feels like Christmas or I don't know like a special gift from somebody and it's nice because you can write your stylist a note and in this package uh, I wrote I'll be using this box to style looks for date nights. I'm currently in Washington DC So anything more sleek sexy upscale as opposed to my relaxed distressed West Coast Look, I love trousers looks that show off my midriff, but high-rise always on the bottom statement jackets date night vibes they send you this little card then that shows all of the items and the subtotal. Obviously, I've already opened my box and have peeked in at the items, but let's just jump right in and find something to wear for tonight's date. Okay, so got the first outfit. This is, I don't know the last time I wore like a flouncy little dress and I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> like, this is what I mean, this is something that I love about Wantable is I probably would not have even picked this up in a store, just not because I don't like it, but because I assume it's not gonna look like me or I'm not gonna look, I literally don't have a full length mirror in this Airbnb, so I have to, I'm using a TV right now. Get this fly out of here. I think I might've like looked at it and thought that it would be too young for me or something, but I think it's really, cute i think the the color is so beautiful i've always loved this sort of like it's a deeper than cornflower i think but like a sort of cornflower dare i say cerulean double wars prada um colored dress and i'm a fan of this deep neckline i think it's a little bit more unique i think right now we're seeing like a lot of the off the shoulder but I like this deep and wide neckline on me and that there's that waist definition. And I think with the right accessories, it doesn't look too young. I think if I wore like platform heels and like a, one of those tiny little trendy bags, it would have a totally different look. But I think with you know some modest height heels, sandals really, and a more classic, this is a vintage bag that my mom got me um, with gold details 
I think this is really nice. And of course, you know, being on tour, I have a minimal amount of my accessories and my shoes and everything. So I think I would even, if I had one, I would carry a straw bag. I did add nice touches of gold jewelry. I have a bangle. I have a very delicate ring here, a lariat necklace, which I think looks really nice with that. Like this is the perfect cut of a V the perfect depth. It's not too deep where it looks like, oh my gosh, that's distracting, but it is like very date night. And then my gold hoops. And I think I would just keep my hair down. If it got really hot, I also think, um, actually that is really cute, a ponytail to show off the shoulders and the decolletage. But for now, we're gonna keep the hair down. So that is outfit number one. That is the first option. Oh, and also this dress is by BB Dakota and it is a size small. Okay. Now I'm officially on my diva behavior because this is something else. I love that like on top we're bringing a little bit of DC class in terms of like a duster jacket sort of thing in the bag. And then on the bottom, I'm bringing my California distressed denim. Um, but it's, I love a combo of like glam, just over the top Samantha Jones sex in the city with like jeans that Carrie's gonna wear on a Sunday, right? So because this is a real statement, um, I just put on a black leotard under this. So it just looks like a tank, something simple. And also because I have pink hair right now, I don't think I need to go crazy with the accessories. So I actually went silver with the accessories. Um, I mean, you could do gold actually. I guess I'm mixing metals because of this. Um, silver hoops, silver stacked rings, keeping the neckline open because I'm doing the big hoops and we have this and my hair, so it's a lot. Um, even if I had a belt, I don't think I would belt this. I like it. And then I kept the same nude heels because I think it keeps it a little bit more casual. So that's the second option. Um, the two pieces that I was sent uh, were this showstopper duster from BB Dakota, same brand as the dress that I just showed you. And then these Dear John 90s Ultra High Rise in Virgin Islands. I can't decide though if I am gonna keep these jeans or exchange for one size smaller. I think I might go for one size smaller just because I love, they have like the perfect amount of stretch. I need stretch in jeans, but I feel like I could go a size smaller. So that's the cool thing about Wantable is you can also not only just return, but you can exchange. So I may exchange for a 26 uh and therefore i may not wear these tonight just because i don't want to like rip the tag off and keep them but i love these jeans like i love them they're the perfect cut i love straight they're not too cropped i told my stylist i don't like a very cropped ankle cut that's not my thing they're high-waisted they have some stretch i mean these are just like my ideal and i even think this outfit on its own totally something i would wear um, especially in the DC heat. Like this is, I could just wear this getting cocktails with Kira at some point this week. Super into it. So um, that's the second option with the duster. I don't know about the duster for tonight, but I am going to an ABBA dance party in August. So I may need to whip this out then. Okay, I also just added this neck scarf. I need to tie it like <clears throat> in a better way, I think. But this, I love this outfit. This is so me. I feel super confident in it. I think it would also even look nice if I put my hair up. This is just a scarf that came with a dress that I ordered recently, but I love it. And it adds a little bit of pattern and pop of color to the outfit that's otherwise pretty toned down. So this is, uh, I can't decide about these jeans. I don't know. Because I, I know with stretch, they're going to stretch a little bit more. So I probably should go a size down. But I really like this look. Like for tonight. Damn. Shut up. 
Shut up. Stop. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Oh, baby, you please don't take my man. Oh, my, I can't do a Dolly Parton impression, but. Okay, first of all, this shirt, so me, because it's comfortable. I can't, I can't be restricted. Like, I love seeing people wearing, like, very complicated blouses with big shoulders, and it's, like, choo, 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 tailored, and eyelets, and this, and peekaboo, and angles, but I can't handle, like, crispy fabrics, and I can't handle restrictive fabrics. This makes me feel like a natural woman and also if you follow the kibby system i am a soft natural so i love this i get to show off my tattoo so i decided to pair it with like this sort of rancher hat kind of thing it's a nice light straw material sort of um and i think the low pony is very again embracing my mexican roots it's giving pew pew I'm super into it. Swapped back to gold jewelry because it's just appropriate. So ring, bangle, pinky ring. Uh, kept these jeans on and the neutral shoe. The neutral shoe is just everything. But I love this look. And this is just, I just love showing a bit of shoulder on date. I think I'm gonna have to wear this tonight. But I had another idea. Instead of these jeans, just in case I decide to swap them out for a different size, just wait. What? Add a little bit of drama with a flare. And these are like man killer pants. I guess, I mean, listen, doing the show that I'm in, I've lost a little bit of my butt because it's just cardio every single night, sometimes two times a day. Um, but, but I still, these are just man killer pants. I love them. So this is another option is with the flare. I also love that I was like, I'm trying to be more DC, you know, elevated East Coast, and then I'm fully going like West Coast slash American Southwest. But you know, my roots run strong. My roots are not even really there. <laughs> but I love this. Love it. Oh my God, I could even do like, I don't know if I have turquoise jewelry, but something like, Turquoisey. Oh, yes, that would look amazing with this. So this shirt is the Alana one shoulder top in black from Supply and Demand. This is a small. I'm gonna be getting so much use out of this because there really is nothing better than showing off a shoulder, especially when you're a soft natural. Um, because we have amazing shoulders. So yes, this is definitely an option that I am very pleased with. All right, I think this is my first attempt at coastal grandmother chic. And I think it's pretty cute. So here's the look. You guessed it, the neutral shoe. But you know what? These are so comfortable. Like, they look elevated and expensive and they're like sexy and strappy, but the heel's so short. And they're actually orthotic shoes, so they're really comfortable. Um, these are shorts that came in my wantable box. I think I'd like to get them tailored because I think I could take the waist in quite a bit, but that's not wantable's fault. My measurements have changed like very rapidly, so I'm still kind of figuring out what my sizes are. Um, but I paired them with, surprise, another bodysuit and this linen shirt, and I just think, that's super sexy. Like, it's very reminiscent of borrowed from the boys. I mean, everybody's doing this, right? Everybody's wearing a big linen shirt or a big button down. But, you know, for good reason. Also, I've been doing it for years. So, whatever. Uh, jewelry, I went a little bit old school East Coast. I added this little watch with a leather band and gold detail because that's just kind of reminds me of a grandpa. So, I'm like, coastal grandmother meets rich East Coast grandpa pinky ring had to stay obviously added some smaller hoops this is kind of the focal point of the accessories this is just a cool like sort of oh it should be turned around but medallion wrap necklace and then i 
I have so much hair, boo hoo me, but it's always hard to figure out how to put in a clip. But if I were an expert at it, that's what I would do. I added a clip and it's kind of like a clay color, which I always think looks really nice with navy. And the shoes are a bit similar. So that's my look. We get to show off the legs a little bit while keeping it conservative on the top. And I think this is just very, very East Coast. With this bag, oh my gosh, I look like I'm, I'm gonna go shopping at the farmer's market for my house in the Hamptons. Like, this is cute. I've never put an outfit like this together. I really love this. It's giving L is for the way you look at me. It's giving, oh, I just love Michael Bublé. I just wanna dance around my kitchen and taste my little Pomodoro sauce and be having a glass of Sal Blanc. Actually, would I be drinking Sal Blanc with Pomodoro? Probably not. Anyway, I have a long time until I would even be in the age bracket to be a coastal grandmother, so we can workshop it. But yes, I really like this. This is cute. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so these shorts are the SCL trouser short in shallows by Warp and Weft. And I have a size 27. I think I would just take in the waist because I like them. They're, like I like how they flare out, so I wouldn't want to get a smaller size and make them tighter here. Just tighter in the waist. Bam. Okay, we got another East Coast chic look coming for you. Woo! Let me give you a walk. Cute, right? Right? Okay, same shoes, blah, blah, blah. This is a black shift dress. It's stretchy and like quite a light material. I thrifted it years ago. This shirt is from Wantable and I love a button down. Like I have so many, I love them. I don't yet have a pink button down and it's mixed. So it's like striped and solid. Also, this is my man's favorite color. So this might be winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, kept the Coastal Grandmother accessories, added this fish necklace because that's also Coastal Grandmother to me and very East Coast. Like, I'm just gonna cook us a, a meal with a white fish and then I can do my soft blanc. And yes, like conservative on the top, leggy on the bottom. I love it. Where's my purse? Um, okay, I just got really inspired. So. The purse, I mean, this is so cute, it's so 90s. Oh my God, I could also, not today, but like for a little, like, harborside lunch with the hat, stop. And then, to accessorize, because look, the legs match the shirt, and they kind of are reminiscent of like a wayfarer, but just a little bit more Italian, if you know what I mean. Hold on. Okay. Like a button down and a Wayfarer shape. <sighs> Am I Audrey Hepburn? To me, this is more of a lunch look though, not so much dinner. Um, but this is absolutely like, oh, if I could do more of like a chignon, like if I actually knew how to do a tighter updo, that would be perfect for this look. Like Meredith Blake. <sighs> Mixed stripe button down shirt in pink, size small by Vigos. I love it. All right, little bit Cinderella vibes. Last look. This tank is so me because Again, if you don't follow the Kibbe system or know about it, it's not gonna make sense, but as a soft natural, I am supposed to wear like drapey sort of softened edges. And like my favorite thing is a slight cowl, like a slip dress with a little bit of this going on or a cami like this, um, but that's open that shows off my back and shoulders because I'm a huge fan of my back and shoulders. And like, this is just, pretty and I love how these straps they don't go straight back they kind of make this angle which I think is just so elegant I put my hair up in a ponytail because um, I was talking to my guy the other night and he was like 
yeah, the first time I met you, you were wearing a ponytail, and I remember it, and he was like, I, I was like, I know, I was so, like, annoyed that I didn't have my hair down that night when I met you, and he was like, no, I like the ponytail, so, ponytail is an option, um, these are some shorts that kind of look like a skirt, and then I changed up the shoes, I decided to wear these more chunky sandals, I could also wear the nude heels, but I decided to switch it up, um, to add something a little bit more like hyper masculine and chunky versus this which is very classic feminine um, I think that's fun. These look like the Chanel dad sandals. They are not and then I accessorized with silver um, I don't really have many silver earrings besides big hoops So I think ideally I would have liked like a stud or an ear climber or something But I whipped out the Rolex because we are on the East Coast silver Rolex uh, a simple stack on one finger and then this is my crystal necklace it has aquamarine here and these are um, those diamonds those uh hurts what are they called it starts with an H diamond but it's a nice pendant and I, I don't really break out my crystal jewelry enough because I don't wear silver that much so it's a it's an opportunity to whip out the crystal jewelry something a little bit more I also like that this adds like a natural touch to the look um, so that you know if I just had the watch if my hair were more like slicked back and I had like ballet flats or a pointed heel or something this would look very almost business ish I mean this isn't really business appropriate but like very country club um, and so to make it my own just adding little like a funky element like this wavy ring something more natural like natural crystals and then these like fun playful dad sort of sandals it's it's more me and then of course you also get my funky nails so that is the last option oh also I just realized my door is open there's pillows on the floor I'm doing laundry before my friend Kira gets here okay don't judge me so cute so this is the Cowl Neck Razorback Cami in Ice Blue by Skies Are Blue. And I don't have anything in my closet that is this color. I think it's really nice on me, actually. So, I don't know what to choose. I'm going to give myself a little time to decide, but I'm glad I did this try-on. Because either way, now I have so many new outfits that I can wear when I have cute, like, things I need to look cute for. This is great. Yeah, this has been really fun and actually really inspiring. Adding new things in my closet that I didn't necessarily like choose for myself just shakes things up. And also another cool thing about Wantable and the whole process, can y'all stop stomping? What are you, what are we, are we practicing marching or? So Wantable basically has a feed where they show you different pieces and you can heart them and request them to be in your box or decline them. So there are certain things that I see where I'm like, I don't want that. I have something like that or I don't like it, so I'll decline it. And then certain things I'm like, I want that. I want to try it. So a couple of these pieces are pieces that I specifically requested or specifically said at least that I liked. And then that also gives your stylist an idea of the kind of pieces that you gravitate toward. Um, like I don't want any graphic tees. I also put that in in my like little style quiz thing that I don't want graphic tees. I don't want super cropped pants. Uh, what else? I don't really want a lot of maxi dresses. So this was my first style edit from Wantable. I've only done the sleep and lounge and the active wear edits, which I love. But I would say this is this whole thing was a great success. So I'm very pleased. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, check out Wantable. I will leave my link. I do get a little bit of kickback if you sign up using that link, so I really appreciate it. Um, and thanks to Wantable for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah! Love you so much. Bye, guys.